Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, October 29th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Last week, the PHP project did release a critical update for PHP 7. This was released for PHP 7.1.2 as well as for PHP 7.3. And the vulnerability being fixed here is already being exploited in the wild. The vulnerability appears to be only exploitable if PHP is run using PHP FPM, the fast CGI process manager in Engine X. In other versions of PHP, the vulnerability is present but doesn't appear to be exploitable. Now, overall exploitation is pretty straightforward. It only requires a new line of carriage return in the URL, which is URL encoded. So percent zero A, percent zero Ds, what you would typically see in a URL that's trying to exploit this vulnerability with proof of concepts and working exploits being out there. No surprise that this is already used in the wild and definitely something that you have to pay attention to if you are running PHP 7 in this vulnerable configuration. And in diaries today, we have another one by Didier. Today, he's introducing SCD bug. That shellcode debugger is actually quite useful, runs on Windows and can help you explain shellcode. And one thing that Didier is going over this time is an option to actually have SCD bug find the shellcode for you in case it doesn't start at the beginning of whatever file you you're analyzing. And Apple today released iOS 13.2 as well as tvOS 13.2. While these are first of all feature updates, they also have some security content sadly not yet available. There are no details yet about what security fixes are included in this update. Also iOS 12.4.3 was released if you're still using an iPhone 5, it's important that you install these latest iOS 12 updates uh, because they include uh, some fixes for the App Store and such. And that App Store and some of uh, the iCloud functionality will not work if you're not on the very latest version of at least iOS 12. We also got an update for Safari, which I guess uh, infers that there will be some WebKit updates in these uh, patches. So certainly I do expect at least some security content, but again, no details. I will link uh, to Apple's security updates page. So if something is released, uh, you should be able to look it up. Nothing yet for macOS Catalina. Also, this Safari update only applies to the older versions of macOS. And that may be actually a reason why Apple is holding back a little bit on some of the details here, because it may also affect macOS Catalina. Now these days, probably everybody has an inbox full of these extortion scam emails and probably people either already paid for it or will never pay for it. Well, it looks like the bad guys are now trying out a little bit a different technique by hacking blogger accounts and WordPress accounts. And then they're posting essentially a page on that particular site with their sextortion demands. Now Bleeping Computer took a look at some of these attempts and they found 1500 hacked blogger accounts and 200 WordPress accounts. Three Bitcoin addresses used in these extortion attempts had some significant Bitcoin payments. Of course, not always clear whether or not this happened as a result of uh, the sextortion attempts or if this was some unrelated payment. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.